Hey guys, uh, so we are actually just starting our night cruise right now. Um, it's been hot as heck all day when they lowered in, uh, mid to lower 90s. And that means that the roads are going to be nice and warm uh, for night cruising. So we got a temp gun that we are going to try and... Um, basically check out the road to see what it is right now it is 9 30 in the sun i don't know you can still see there's a little bit of light in the sky so it does the sun doesn't go down until pretty late here in florida we're gonna take a little reading of the road at the moment you find it we got this guy right here we're gonna take a little reading of the road right now to see what it's like as the sun just went down so i'm just gonna stick it out the car and see and I can't all right so the road is I don't know how well you can see that if you can see that at all let's see ah uh, there oh that's us that's on the grass that 90 it's it's 93 93 so the road right now is 93 degrees oh ugh. so what we're gonna do is start driving now. so what we're gonna do is throughout the night if we find snakes which hopefully we will um we'll take a reading of the road um to see how much it's cooled down and if it stays warm because 93 should be pretty good for basking you know heat in florida considering it's supposed it says it's 81 out so the road is obviously warmer than the surrounding area which is good so we're gonna try to see uh when the snakes dark. are active yeah and it just became dark so stay tuned First snake of the night, a uh, much welcome surprise. Another baby corn snake oh. in roughly the same area. I think we found the other one. Maybe the same one. Mm, probably not. I don't think we got to look at see that banding, the difference right there. There you go. Hey, let's get the car out of the road real quick okay. and we'll take some more video. Hold them. This there one. we go. Yeah, I'll hold them. You ain't hold the other one that much. Damn. Hey, little buddy. Look how pretty this snake is. I think... I don't know. It looks like it's going to go in the shed. It's a little... See how, uh, Maybe. See how the bellies are a little off? I don't know. Anyway, look at the banding. I think it's a completely different snake. Look at the, the splotches on it. Oh, yeah. That's a different snake. I would have recognized that, I would think. Look at that pretty little snake. Yeah, it's kind of a, oh yeah, I was going to say a silver fading, but he does no. look at the tail, does look like he's about to go in the shed. Hey, bud. Well, look at that. Another corn snake. <laughs> How do you feel? It's exciting. I kind of want to keep this one. Yeah, well, we'll let him go, and uh, I know I would absolutely love to have him, but let him go to his natural habitat. Um, can you grab the gun real quick, see what the temperature is of the road? So when we first got the temperature reading um temperature was 93 on the road this is our third corn snake ever all right temperature is coming out to 90 91 okay so it's cooled down a little bit mm -hmm. and this is what what time is it like 10.30, so an hour's gone by and the road's cooled down about three degrees. So that's pretty cool. The temperature outside, jeez, we're getting attacked by a giant moth. What the heck? That's a giant moth, holy crap. Okay, holy crap, it's, uh, we're being attacked by a damn moth. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's like a bird. Okay, holy crap, anyway. Well, we're going to not try to die by a moth and uh, keep on looking for some more snakes. Hey, bud. Ran these little dudes over. It's a male and a female walking stick. Let's uh, get them off the road before they get squished. Here. Ah. 
Come on, bud. There you go. Oh, this is a baby cotton mouth with no coloration on its tail. They usually have a little uh, tip like the uh, um, like the pygmies do, but this guy has nothing. Look at that little cotton mouth. I know he's adorable, isn't he? Oh, we definitely need to get a check of the road when he goes across. There we go. Look at him compared to my foot. I know, he's tiny. That's a baby baby. Come on, bud. His, hot, his head's about the size of a quarter. I know, but he'll still screw oh, you yeah. up. <laughs> he's pretty. I think... Look at him. He's got a little tiny bit of yellow to the tail. Yeah. You can just kind of see it a little bit, but must be just the variation that lives here. Must not just have that much. Oh, there he said not go. today. <laughs> not messing with you. Oh. All right, bud. Stay off the road. Don't get hit by a car. Thanks. All right, let's get a reading of the temperature of the road. And uh, we'll be on our way. It's uh, about 11.30 right now. So it's been about an hour since we saw that corn snake. At 11.26. Wing. 84. So it's dropped. Yeah. Almost 10 degrees since we started. But the outside temperature, if I look up. Oh. No, not 11 degrees Fahrenheit. I want like air temperature, 72, 73. So, it's still about 10 degrees warmer. A little bit more than 10 degrees warmer than the surrounding area. So, uh, nice. All right. Looks like another cotton mouth. That is a good one. That is a nice... Nice cotton mouth. Hey, thick, bums. That is a thick tail. one. That's a really dark tail. These ones up here have the huge broad bands and the really dark tail. And I guess the babies don't really have uh, much in terms of coloration on their tail. Where he's at right now, it's about 82, 81, 82. Okay, so it is a, almost 1230. So we basically have taken a reading every hour for the past what for the well every hour since we've gotten here at 9 30 and you said 82 yeah so 79 well where he's at exactly is 79 and then on the black top it's actually like 81 82 yeah. so it's a few degrees so maybe that's why they're sitting right on the edge because remember we see them like this all the time yeah it's about degrees two degrees is cooler on the white where he's at versus right here so it, we started off the night at around 93 on the road, and now it's about 82, and the outside temperature is like 72. Mm -hmm. So it's about 10 degrees warmer. The snake's about 80 degrees. Hey, beautiful. Wow. Wow, they have such a dark tail out here. So most of the cottonmouths I've seen, and these guys aren't, I haven't seen any really big ones, but like, the tail's basically black. Biggest one so far? Biggest one we've seen out here so far. Um, tail's basically black and the, the banning, it's almost like an opposite coach whip, except, yeah. the, I mean, coloration-wise. Beautiful snake. That is so cool. I don't know if it, it'll gradually turn darker, but that's what I've noticed with these snakes out here for sure. Yeah. Well, he's just chilling on the road here. And I don't have any way to move him. He's facing that way. I don't think it's safe for you. Either. I don't. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna touch him. I'm just gonna go around him. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. He's beautiful.
There you go. Thank you. That's right. Go to your water. Nice. All right. 